Hello learners, welcome to another fun and exciting adventure together. And welcome to our English class. This is teacher Jonna Bell. At the end of the discussion, here is what is expected to you class. First, identify the differences between direct and reported speech. Second, use direct and reported speech appropriately in a varied context. Third, understand and follow the rules in converting direct speech to reported speech and vice versa. I have here a class to table and what I wanted to do is to analyze the given group of sentences. Write down your observation on your paper. Lister said, I will finish my assignment. Lister said that he would finish his assignment. She said, my friend visited yesterday. She said that her friend had visited the day before. Santi said to Grace, close the door. Santi ordered Grace to close the door. April said, will I pass the test? April asked whether she would pass the test. What are your observation class? You're absolutely correct. The group of sentences on the left side of your screen are the direct dialogues or direct speech of the speakers with quotation marks. While the group of sentences on the right part of your screen are the reported or indirect speech. So now, let's try if you could tell me whether each of the following statements is the direct speech or reported speech. Write your answer on your paper. First, Blanc, Jomar said to me, Did you get home safely? Fantastic! It's a direct speech. Second question, Blanc, Joel said, I am one in a million. Again, it's a direct speech. For the third question, Blanc, Carlos said that he joined the TikTok dance challenge. Azam is a indirect speech. So, aside from the things we mentioned earlier, what are the differences of direct speech from reported speech? Get ready with your self-learning module, pen and paper. Let's find out more about our topics for today's discussions. Direct and reported speech. In direct speech, the message of the speaker is conveyed or reported in his own actual words without any change. It also has a quoted speech. The exact message of the speaker is enclosed by quotation marks. For example, the boy said, I ate pancakes. The mother ordered him to clean the house. Is everything clear? Asked Chan. Direct speech commonly had a reported clause, reporting verb, reported clause, and reported verb. For example, reporting clause. The boy said, I ate pancakes. So the reporting clause here is the boy said. While in the reporting verb, the boy said, I ate pancakes. The reporting verb here in the sentence is said. While in the reporting clause, the boy said, I ate pancakes. The reporting clause here is, I ate pancakes. Reporting verb, the boy said, I ate pancakes. The reporting verb here is, ate. Reported speech is also known as indirect speech. It is a reported on what someone else said or wrote without using the person's exact words. Unlike direct speech, does have a quotation marks. For example, the boy said that he had eaten pancakes. The mother ordered him to clean the house. Jan asked if everything was clear. And now, let's proceed to the basic rules in changing direct speech or DS to reported speech or RS. So first, changes in the person of the pronouns in first person pronouns in reported clause are always changed according to the subject of the reported clause. For example, 
DS. Belle said, I am happy. RS. Belle said that she was happy. In transforming pronouns from direct to reported speech, you need to change the perspective or point of view. In this sample, the first person pronoun I in the direct speech is changed to which is a third person pronoun in the reported speech. For Bell is the subject of reporting plus and Bell said Bell is the female requiring a third person feminine pronoun she. Second person pronouns is reported clause are always changed according to the objective of the reporting clause. For example, DS, Joy said to Paul, you passed the exam. RS, Joy told Paul that he had passed the exam. In this sample, the second person pronoun you in the direct speech is changed according to the objects of the reporting clause. Joy said to Paul, the object here is Paul, and it requires a third person masculine pronoun he. Third person pronoun in reported clause are not changed. For example, DS, Joanna said, she looks sad. RS, Joanna said she looked sad. The third person pronoun she in the direct speech does not change when transformed into a reported speech. So let's proceed to the second, which is changes in the verb tense. Reporting clause with the present of future tense verb. If a reporting clause is no change required in the verb of the reported clause. This verb could be in any tense. For example, DS, he says, I am going to the library. RS, he says that he is going to the library. In this sample, there is no need to change the verb in the reported verb. Ongoing is the verb in the present progressive tense. So the verb in the reported speech should also be in present progressive tense is going. Reporting clause with the past tense verb in direct speech, occasionally we don't need to change the present tense into the past. If the information in the direct speech is still true, but this is only for the things with the general facts and even then usually we we'll like to change the tense. Here is a sample of a sentence with general facts. For the direct speech, she said, the sky is blue. While in the reported speech, she said that the sky is was blue. The verb was not changed into the past tense. Take note that the use of the words that is optional in reported speech both of the following sentences are correct. So let's proceed to the next. Changes in tense of the verb. Direct speech, simple present while in the reported speech uses simple past. For example, in simple present, the man said, I like chocolate. While in the simple past, the man said that he liked chocolate. In direct speech, the verb like is in its simple present tense. In reported speech, the verb becomes like, which is in its simple past tense. Present progressive and the past progressive. For example, in present progressive, she said the cat is sleeping. While in the past progressive, she said that the cat was sleeping. In direct speech, the verb sleeping is in its present progressive tense. In reported speech, the verb becomes was sleeping which is in its past progressive. This is present perfect while in reported speech, past perfect. So for example, in present perfect, they said, we have prepared snacks. Well, in the past perfect, they said that they had prepared snacks. 
In direct speech, the verb have prepared is in its present perfect tense. In reported speech, the verb becomes had prepared, which is in its past tense. In reporting verb is in its past tense. Then the reported verb will be changed depending on its tense. For examples, direct speech uses simple past while in reported speech past perfect. For example, in simple past, my friend announced the meeting started. While in the past perfect, my friend announced that the meeting had started. In the direct speech, the verb started is in its simple tense. In reported speech, the verb becomes had started, which is in its past perfect tense. Direct speech uses past progressive, while in reported speech uses past perfect progressive. For example, in the past progressive, she said, the children were laughing at my cleverness. While in the past perfect progressive, she said that the children had been laughing at her cleverness. In direct speech, the verb were laughing is in its past progressive tense. In reported speech, the verb becomes had been laughing, which is in its past perfect progressive. Direct speech reported speech While in direct speech uses past perfect and past perfect in reported speech Example in the past perfect The boy said I had studied abroad While in the past perfect The boy said that he had studied abroad in direct speech, the verb had studied in its past perfect. In direct speech, the verb had studied is in its past perfect tense. In reporting speech, the verb becomes had studied, which is also in its past perfect tense. Direct speech uses well and shall, while in reported speech, would and should. For example, uses in well and shall. Alex said, I will try to finish my report. While in reported speech, Alex said that he would try to finish his report. Take a look at how modal verbs are changed from direct speech to reported speech. Well is changed to would. The next is direct speech uses can and whether reported speech could. For example, in direct speech, My father said to me, I can pick you up. While in the reported speech, my father told me that he could pick me up. Can is changed to could. Direct speech uses made. While in reported speech, uses might. For example, in the sentence in the direct speech, Troy said, I may invite them to the party. While in the reported speech, Troy said that he might invite them to the party. May is changed to might. Direct speech uses must, while in the reported speech, uses must or had to. For example, in the direct speech, Jean said, I must stop smoking. While in the reported speech, Jean said that she must had to stop smoking. The modal verb must can be retained or it can be changed to had. So now let's proceed to the other significant word changes. The basic rules in changing direct speech, DS to reported speech, RS. Direct speech now becomes in reported speech then. Here becomes there. Today becomes that day. Tomorrow becomes the next day. Yesterday becomes the day before. Tonight becomes that night. 
this becomes that this becomes those here is the conversation of interrogative and imperative direct speech the reporting verb said or said to is changed to as demanded or inquired for yes or no questions if or whether is used in place of that for example yes joseph said to jana will you attend the flag ceremony rs joseph asked jana if she would attend the flag ceremony for what questions you are not required to add an if or any other word for example ds my little brother said to his sweet dress what are you doing rs my little brother asked the witness what she was doing so for imperative and command the reporting verb said or said to us change to ordered or command for example ds the librarian said to me keep quiet rs the librarian ordered me to keep quiet for imperative as a request the reporting verb said or told is changed to requested for example ds he told me please call me rs he requested me to call him study the following images fill the speech bubbles with what you think the persons could be saying and write your answers on your paper the first question what do you think is the president saying in that picture you might have answered fellow filipinos please obey the protocols of our government so for the second question is this scene familiar to you what is our candidate saying to the audience in this particular pageant you might have answered I want our children to believe in the power of their dreams. For the third question, have you seen a similar scene during our last episode on the TV? You might have answered, the low tropical depression was seen on the west side of the sun, but would not develop into a storm. Now, imagine yourself as a news reporter. Convert the messages of the people from the previous test into a news report. Write your answer on your paper. And here are the possible answers. During his last State of the Nation address, Sana, President Rodrigo R. Duterte urged the Filipino people to obey the protocols of our government. Miss Catriona Gray answered the question by saying that she wanted our children to believe in the power of their dreams. And for the last picture, Mangtani reported that the low tropical depression was seen on the west side of the zone, but would not develop into a storm. Let's level up on it. I wanted you to change the direct speech to reported speech. The first number is done for you. Write down your answers on your paper. Number 1. Nicole said, tell me the truth. The answer is, Nicole demanded to tell her the truth. Number 2. My brother said, I love to sing. The answer is, my brother said that he loved to sing. Third, the teacher asked her, will you join the contest? The answer is, the teacher asked her if she would join the contest. Fourth, they said, we are veterans. The answer is, they said that they were veterans. Fifth, Beth said they came yesterday. The answer is, Beth said they had come the day before. For the number 6, she said to me, are you sure? The answer is, she asked me if I was sure. Number 7, the doctor said to her, you are not sick. The answer is, 
The doctor told her that she was not sick. Number 8. The guard said to me, wear your uniform. The answer is, the guard told me to wear my uniform. Number 9. Justin said to me, I saw your puppy outside. The answer is, Justin told me that he had seen my puppy. Number 10. The little boy said, I will be a policeman. The answer is, the little boy said that he will be a policeman. And that's all. That's the end of our today's discussions. Thank you for watching. Bye!